What's up, masters of the flipping art? Uh, I'm here to do a video about how I, uh, I understand a thing that I used to not understand as much, which is balisong nitpicking. And um, really it has a lot to do with like, uh, you know, one is that there will come a point where as a balisong YouTuber, you will feel more balisongs than you've ever really um, felt in the past. And you'll get to the point to where you start to be able to notice these little nuances. Like a lot of these reviewers, like when you first get into the hobby, you might be like, man, what are they on about? You know what I'm saying? What are they making a big deal about nothing for? And that's a pretty like valid criticism if you haven't really felt that many battle songs when you're like, well, it's not really that much of a difference. You know what I'm saying? But you'll get to the point to where you're like, I can actually tell now in my later career, or at least myself, I can actually tell the difference between a good battle song eh, and not that great of a battle song. Like here's a good example and I'm flipping this today, like this thing, flips and it's fun and it's it's decent but it's not like it's not like uh <clears throat> it's not a battle song you would want to trust your whole entire collection to or like be like i'm gonna learn every trick on this thing it's just like a fun little thing the, this bb barfly by the way 100 percent worth the money but um well like you'll start to notice the balance nuances and things along that line like if you're learning something simple like a little rollover like that you can learn that on almost anything, even like a shitty little Amazon bell song. But once you get into the intricacies of like things like doing a scissor like that, or, you know, I don't really know. I'm not really that advanced of a flipper, but there's certain tricks like uh, maybe this little uh, choker fan right here into this little thing right here. And then that little rollover. See, sometimes the balance gets weird. So that's kind of like a little thing that you might be conscious of, you know, as you're sort of flipping. And, um, it might just be one of those things that you start to notice later on. So if you're like a new flipper and you're like, man, why do these battle songers like have so much, like they nitpick all the little shit. Like you'll see like a battle song that was like clearly not meant to be a competitive flipper or like it's like 30 bucks and it's like, they just come through and absolutely demolish it. You know, <laughs> here comes an edit. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of like the, one of the things that I sort of noticed about it, but another reason why is you have to remember a lot of these guys like Will Hirsch and maybe like 80s and, and um, I, don't, I don't know if that's how you say it, but Addis and, and all these guys like uh, Telestro and stuff, their sort of niche within the community is they're responsible for differentiating these things. You know what I'm saying? They get sponsored and they get all these like uh, reviews and stuff and they're sort of like responsible for being the ones who say what goes and what doesn't and when you've handled so many battle songs and <clears throat> you're responsible for saying reviewing a battle song you can't just every single review be like this is good <laughs> unless you're battle song flipping which he's like always pretty positive he'll give a little bit of things i don't want to call call him out but sometimes like i watch his videos and i sort of agree because if i was reviewing that's how i would be too like yeah this is pretty good <laughs> like, yeah, it's pretty good. I think he's had like one or two reviews where he says it's not that great or whatever. But it's like he's not the type of reviewer to like record 10 hours of B-roll and then be like, this is how this is how it's different. There was like a little piece of the handle like right here that touched my finger and it hurt me a little bit. He's more like, well, it's pretty good. It could be a little better or whatever. Um, and then like Will Hirsch will come along and be like, so the weight is this. This is that. This is like 10,000 reasons why this is better. This is not better. This is the best in its field for whatever price point. It's like more thorough is basically what I'm trying to say. And like, uh, you know, that's a pretty, pretty standard practice for a lot of those guys. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> it just comes down to like, if Will Hirsch was like recording the same type of videos he does now and he's like recording all these videos and then he's just like, yeah, so this one's good. And the next one, oh, this one's good too. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Like it comes to a point where you have to nitpick because that's what you expect from the content. It's like, dude, you're reviewing and you're the review guy for a lot of these guys. You know, they, that's their channel. That's the purpose of the channel. People like me, the purpose of my channel is like kind of like uh, more so like flipping style stuff. It's not really as much like that, you know, so I, I don't have as much of a responsibility when it comes to stuff like that. So I'm more like laid back and laxed about it, um, about my reviews and stuff. But that's, that's the difference between them is like, those guys have to nitpick. They don't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? They are, uh, that, that, that's the purpose of them existing on the, on this platform is because if, if they said everything was the same, you would be angry about it. So a lot of the times I would say that I didn't understand nitpicking, but, um, now I sort of do, you know, it's like, uh, I get it. That's, that's what they have to do. So that's the realization I came to today. Just a fun little thing to talk about. Let's try to do an under the leg scissor. 
I'll just turn the camera to where it's like more. Oh, almost. Let's turn the camera to where it's almost like you can see my body a little better. Here we go. Oh! Sorry if that was loud. Sorry, headphone users. RIP. Anyways, rock on.